somebody on social media asked, asked about, quote, the added chemicals in vaccines that have parents concerned. Mm -hmm. Would you please address that concern? You just mentioned that uh, that seems to be rising among certain groups of people who feel like the vaccines are more dangerous than the diseases they're trying to treat. Can you talk about that for us? Yeah, I don't know what happened to the word chemicals. Somewhere in there it became a bad word. Remember uh, Dupont, I think, used to uh, have an ad was like better, li better living through chemistry. Right. They, they eliminated that ad because they the word chemical or chemistry. I mean, water technically is a chemical, salt's a chemical. So the, the, um, in order to, when, when you make a vaccine, so you have the vaccine itself, which in the case a, of the measles vaccine is a live, weakened form of the virus. And that's the purpose of a vaccine, to sort of induce immunity uh, that is a consequence of natural infection without having to pay the price of natural infection. But you, you also need buffers and stabilizers so that you can have sort of sort of long-term stability, uh, et cetera. So, so of course, there's, there's, uh, there's salts and sugars, if you will, that are in chemicals, that are, that are in, uh, in vaccines. But, you know, they're certainly very thoroughly tested. Uh, you know, I think vaccines are probably the best tested things we put into our body and the safest things we put into our body, but they're not absolutely safe. I mean, anything that has a positive effect can have a negative effect. Vaccines are no different. And vaccines can cause serious problems and cause, can cause permanent problems and can cause fatality. I mean, if you look at that Johnson & Johnson uh, COVID vaccine, it was a rare cause of clotting, including clotting in the brain, including fatal clotting, which ultimately drove it off the market. So I think it's reasonable to be skeptical of anything you put into your body, especially vaccines, because you're giving it to healthy children. But they are well tested and, uh, and they do, they have allowed us to live 30 years longer than we did 100 years ago. That's because of vaccines. We shouldn't be so quick to abandon them.